Hey you guys, Blaze here from Blazing Reviews, and today we're going to be checking out Top Gun Maverick streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Now this movie was shot in 6K using new Sony Venice IMAX certified cameras, specially made for this movie to fit inside the cockpits. It's got a 4K DI. The runtime is 130 minutes. It's rated PG-13. The aspect ratio is 235 by 1 and 1 by 90 for all the IMAX scenes. It's in HDR and the sound is in Dolby Atmos. Now for the audio, I will be using the Sony HT-A9 and my settings are as follows. Cinema mode is on. Immersive AE is automatically on. Rear speakers are set to max. Bass using the SW3 subwoofer is set on 7. Audio DRC is on. Sound mode is on. And advanced audio volume is on. So put on your flight helmet, punch the afterburners, and let's fly right into it. Right at the beginning, the Top Gun anthem plays, and you can hear the radio broadcast all around you as the jets prepare for takeoff. Then you're going to want to crank up the volume because Danger Zone kicks in and you can hear the jet engine start as they start taking off from the aircraft carrier. When Maverick enters the SR-72 Dark Star, you can hear his radio communications from behind you. Then, when he takes off, the jet engines have some really deep bass to them that will vibrate your room. And as he flies over, it sounds like the Dark Star is flying right over top of you. It's a really immersive experience that shows off how well the A-9 is able to simulate height effects. Control, this is Dark Star, how do you read? Dark Star control out and clear, how me? Loud and clear, take off my check complete. Ready for engine you start. Reload engine start. Reload engine start. Thumbs for taxi. We have regular taxi. Forward to Dark Star, we are taxiing with information alpha. Dark Star, you're clear to taxi. Runway 2-1. Wind 2 one zero ten. Okay, fuel temperature looking good. Control concurs. Battery's holding at 95%. Cabin pressure looks good. Control concurs. Power to Dark Star. We're ready to take off. Requesting an unrestricted climb to 6 zero zero above. Dark Star, the runway is now yours. Maverick reaches Mach 10, you can hear the air that's blowing around the Dark Star all around you, and the engines got some very deep bass to them. It's a very immersive experience that makes you feel like you're actually in the cockpit flying with Maverick. Windshield hot caution. Surface temp rising. A little. Just a little. Come on! 
The helicopter comes to pick up Maverick after his crash. It sounds like it's right above you coming down to land in front of you. While the team's training for the mission, Maverick flies by fast in his F-18 and it can be heard right in front of you then behind you as he passes. It's a really cool effect that makes you feel like you're up in the sky flying with him. Oh, wait, I got it. Baby on board. <laughs> Shit! Greetings, aviators. Fight's on. All right, Phoenix, let's take this guy out. Watch your back, Phoenix. Break right! Breaking right! Where's he going? That's why we call him Hangman. He'll always hang you out to dry. Leaving your wingman. There's a strategy I haven't seen in a while. When Maverick is practicing dogfighting with Rooster, this scene shows off the A9's height channels as his brake maneuver sounds like he's literally right over top of you. It's too low. Too late. You had your chance. That's a kill. Knocked enough. Damn it. Same old rooster. Go see Hondo about your push-ups. The scene where Penny and Maverick are sailing shows off how the A9 puts you in an immersive sound bubble, as you can hear the waves and wind all around you. When Maverick is proving that the mission can be completed in a short amount of time and also flying low, you can hear the jet sounds and wind all around you. As he turns, it goes from the left side of you to the right side of you. It's a really awesome experience that makes you feel like you're actually in the cockpit with him. When the team is flying to their mission, the aircraft carrier fires Tomahawk missiles. As they fly over the team's F-18s, they sound like they're literally flying right over your head, utilizing the A-9's height channels. Then when the team is flying through the canyon and hits supersonic, you can hear the supersonic boom all around you. Tomahawk airborne. No turning back now. Daggers, assume attack formation. Daggers set, proceeding to target. Two minutes and 30 seconds in three, two, one, mark. Two mark. Three mark. Four mark.
When the enemy helicopter is coming for Maverick, it sounds like it's right above in front of you. As it shoots, you can hear the bullets whizzing by and hitting objects directly behind you. It really shows off how the A9 is accurately able to place sounds where they belong. Then Rooster comes and shoots the helicopter down, and the explosion is loud with some very deep bass. If you have the SW3 or SW5 subwoofer, definitely crank up the volume for this scene. dialogue throughout this movie, even with all the action taking place, is nice and clear, especially with the A9's Phantom Center channel. And despite it being a streaming movie with the Dolby Atmos not being as good quality as a 4K UHD disc, it has some great surround and height effects that really show off how the A9 is able to create 12 Phantom channels to immerse you in a 360 sound bubble. Especially most of the flying scenes where you can hear the wind rushing by and the jet engines which makes it feel like you're inside the cockpit. Because this movie was filmed in 6K, the image quality is outstanding. The picture is nice and clear with explosions looking nice and bright from the HDR. Black levels are deep and looked amazing on my OLED. I'm gonna give the audio a blazing score of nine. It has a great Dolby Atmos mix, which sounds amazing on the Sony HTA9 with good surround sound and height effects and it will definitely immerse you with all its action and flying scenes. And the image quality, I'm gonna give a 9.5. Everything looked perfectly sharp with bright colors. I could see clearly all the actors' facial details down to Tom Cruise's and Jennifer Connelly's wrinkles, but I wish it was just a tad brighter like Ambulance or Gemini Man was. This is definitely a film worth watching, especially if you own or will get soon the HTA9 or HT7000 soundbar with the SA RS5 rear speakers. You won't be disappointed. And I can only imagine the 4K UHD of this movie, which is coming out in November, will have even better picture quality and sound. I, for one, can't wait for it. Have you watched Top Gun Maverick on your Sony HTA9 or HTA7000 soundbar? If so, let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. Be sure to hit that thumbs up to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click that little bell icon to get notified when I upload more videos. And if you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. It helps me get more movies and equipment to review just for you. Thanks, and more videos are coming soon.